Hey guys, thank you for dropping by my video tonight. Again, we're going to be talking about um, procrastination tonight. That is one topic that I can really talk about, but we're going to talk about procrastination and I'm going to give you five ways that you can avoid uh, or, or, or kind of put an end to your procrastination and, and, and not only just end it, but the reason why you are doing it. But before I get started, I want to say thank you again for dropping by my video. If this is your first time being on my, seeing me on video, then go ahead and hit the like, uh, uh, give me some thumbs up, hit the like button and give me, um, uh, some hearts over on my on Facebook. If you are on YouTube, then go ahead and smash that subscribe button and also hit that notification bell below this video. Then let me know that when I come on, you won't miss me and I won't miss you. Okay. So tonight we're gonna speedily talk about these uh, this procrastination and the reason why we procrastinate. Listen, I have been the queen of procrastination. I was a person that loves to do things, and I do at the last minute because it seemed like it's an adrenaline rush for me to do things at the last minute. And that's that's could be that could be um, a, a positive because there are people that are passive procrastinators and there are active procrastinators. So if you are a active procrastinator that means that you do things at the last minute and that you it it is it, in in the plus for you okay so but um the reason some of the reason why we procrastinate is because of things that maybe we don't just don't want to do <laughs> we just don't want to do them that's that's one of the reason why when we put it off and put it off or maybe they just not important enough to us that we want to do it but the first one i want to discuss with you about is the task isn't important or urgent uh, it's like okay i got to wash dishes and um so that's not that's not uh really um um urgent right now so i can do uh, i can maybe go over here and, and 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 read a book or whatever and so the task is not really really important but you want to the solution to that is if you find yourself procrastinating and the dishes that became two days and three days then what you want to do is look at things in a different perspective you want to look at the whole picture how is it how will this affect my life by me not washing dishes on a daily basis will it accumulate up things that i want don't want in my house i'm just using this for an example because sometimes we do that we, we don't think the task is just Oh, I got one or two plates and then, then next week it'll be a whole dish pan full of dishes where you just put it off and put it off and put it off. But you got to put things in perspective so that you can get uh, a move forward. OK, the next one is we don't know how to get started with something. Sometimes it's just not that you don't want to do it or, you know, if you don't consider it urgent. You just get uh, where you don't know what to do. You know, you done went as far as you know what how to do and so you get be confused and 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 just you know just disorganized uh but the solution to that is that you don't put it off you you tell yourself hey I, i'm gonna take this confusion that i got in my mind and i'm gonna start i'm gonna come up with me a plan of uh how to get it done you know uh I, i'm a uh figure it out kind of situation i'm gonna figure this out so that i can be an overcomer and not procrastinate in this area the third one is we are afraid of failure sometimes we convince ourselves that we just can't do do the task you know it's too hard or you know i just don't have all the pieces to it but but you got to move past that. That's part of procrastinating. But it's a reason why you do it. Like I said, you think that you can't do it. And when you put things in your mind and say, I can't do this, then normally you don't do it. But the solution is dig, dig deep, deep inside of yourself and, and, and motivate yourself with words of uh, encouragement to say i can get this done and i'm gonna get it done tonight in a time to matter uh, set you a timer to it and say hey in, in 30 minutes if that's what how much a length of time it needs to be then in 30 minutes you need to have it done okay the fourth one is do you uh 
do things uh, under pressure. Like I just told you, that's that's uh, some of the ways that I work. Uh, putting things at the last minute, uh, it has cost me some time because, uh, you know, I put it too far at the last minute and, and then I didn't get it done. But I am a person that loves to work under pressure because it keep, it gets me my adrenaline going and I could get all pepped up to say, hey, I, I'm racing against this time and I'm, I'm racing, re really just telling myself that, you know, you're going to get it done. Come on, you can do it. So some people just work like that. So if you're one of those people, then don't, don't be so hard on yourself and say, hey, you know, I'm getting this, this just not, uh, the way people normally do. Yes, it is. It's a, it's a, it's a, an adrenaline rush for you. That's what it is. And so, like I just uh, said before, you got active, passive, and active people. You got those passive people that just they, they don't, they, they don't get nothing done. They just let it just kind of slide. But active people, we get up, and even if at the last minute, we're gonna get it done, and we're gonna be really happy about it. So the fifth one is we. I told you this on the beginning. We just don't want to get it done. We just say, hey, this is not anything that I want to do. It's not what bringing me in the pleasure of doing it. So I'm just not going to do it. But you have to get out of that mode of thinking. If, if it's an important task that you have to do throughout the day, like doing your emails, if we're, we're talking about business re related stuff right here. If it's your emails, if you got to make phone calls to people, you got to follow up and, and you know, do your messengers and your posts and your five uh, uh, DMO plan, then you, it's no reason for you, sh you to come up with these ideas that I just don't want to get it done. If you want to move the needle in your business then you have to sit down at at and just make yourself focus and and set the goal that hey in an hour I'm gonna give me an hour span of time and I'm gonna get this done I'm not gonna take my head up until I get it done so guys these are my five tips that I'm giving you uh, the five reasons why we procrastinate and we're all uh business owners and we're gonna do better in our business and, and you know and and feed our mind the positive things that we can do to get to be overcomers in our business. This has been your girl, Deborah Charles, down here in Pine Bluff, Arkansas, the CEO of Social Media Marketing with D, where I inspire, motivate, and certainly educate other home-based business owners, newbie marketers, and affiliate marketers on how to leverage their Facebook profile to get leads and sales. And so guys, as I always say at the, at the end of my video, in order for you to get those leads and sales, we have to stop this procrastination. We have to put our heads down to, and put our hands to the plow and make sure that we are doing what we need to do to get our business up focused and we make money because this is what we do in our business. We give value and we make the money, okay? So below this video, is the link to my number one way I make money online. Also, I'm gonna have a resource that you can go, it's a video that you can go and, and look at on how to avoid procrastination, okay? So I hope you all are having a wonderful evening, morning, afternoon, wherever you are in the world, and that I uh, will be seeing you on tomorrow, and I hope you have a blessed night. See you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.